this is the America's Transportation Awards 2011. 40 entries were submitted from 33 states in four regional competitions. A panel of judges selected 15 regional winners in three categories, on time, under budget, and innovative management. The project scoring the highest number of points became the top 10, competing for the grand prize and the People's Choice Award decided by popular vote. And the top 10 finalists by region are from Sashto, the Florida Department of Transportation I-10 Interchange Improvement Project was selected as the winner in the on-time medium project category. Begun in February of 2005, the Big Eye, as it's known in Florida, opened to traffic in October 2010, six months ahead of schedule. The $157 million project provides congestion relief and additional road capacity for approximately 172,000 vehicles a day. The Big Eye has transformed Jacksonville's downtown transportation system. The exemplary commitment and coordination by all involved ensured a timely completion of the project. Andre Sutherland, Project Administrator, FDOT. The Kentucky Department of Transportation Newton Pike Extension Project was selected in the on-time small project category. This $16 million project is part of a multi-phase corridor redevelopment plan that will form a direct connection from Interstate 75 and 64 on the north side of Lexington to the University of Kentucky campus. Plans for such a connection can be found dating back to the 1930s. On September 1, 2010, the first leg of that connection became a reality when the project's Phase 4 was open to traffic. The South Carolina Department of Transportation plans online system project, innovative management category. For decades, gaining access to roadway construction plans in South Carolina involved filing a request and waiting days for the records to be found and sent to a central location for review. Starting in 1997, South Carolina DOT began converting those road plans into digital files. Today, the plans are available internally online to South Carolina DOT employees and externally to authorized users anywhere in the world. The NASTO winners are the Massachusetts Department of Transportation Phillipston Heavy Lift Bridge Replacement Project, Innovative Management Category. This accelerated bridge construction project replaced a structurally deficient bridge in Phillipston, Massachusetts. The new superstructure was built on temporary shoring towers just north of the bridge location and moved into place using self-propelled modular transporters. The work was completed and the road reopened 81 hours ahead of schedule in just 121 hours. This innovative project replaced an aging bridge, improved public safety, created jobs, and it will continue to help the local economy along a busy corridor for years to come. Governor Duvall Patrick. The New Hampshire Department of Transportation Hampton Toll Plaza Conversion to Open Road Tolling Project, winner in the on-time small project category. For years, motorists using the 16-lane Hampton Toll Plaza suffered through bumper-to-bumper -bumper congestion and significant delays, especially during seasonal peak periods. This $17 million conversion project, successfully completed on a fast-track 16-month schedule, introduced open road tolling to New England. The NASTO winners are the Kansas Department of Transportation K-23 Practical Improvement Project Innovative Management Small Project Category. This 17-mile, two-lane highway reconstruction project in Grove County, Kansas, used the concept of practical improvement design. This innovative approach gave engineers and builders the flexibility to use lower-cost alternatives to achieve both safety and bottom-line savings while improving the highway. The use of practical improvements was a no-frills, money-saving concept in which the Kansas Department of Transportation customized a highway construction project to fit a specific need rather than applying generic standards across the board. Jerry Younger, KDOT State Transportation Engineer. 
the Michigan Department of Transportation fix on I-196 project, winner in the on-time medium project category. This project rehabilitated 2.5 miles of Interstate 196, replacing five bridges. The nearly 50-year-old freeway was redesigned to meet current standards, and because it was located in the heart of Grand Rapids, the construction was done in stages to ensure mobility, safety, and efficiency. The freeway was reopened one week earlier than required, providing improved aesthetics along the corridor and greater access to both vehicle and pedestrian traffic. The WASHTO finalists are the Montana Department of Transportation Shiloh Road Project, winner in the on-time medium project category. Located in Billings, Montana, this multi-phase project was designed to meet the multimodal development needs along the corridor for years to come. The project overcame a number of obstacles, including an accelerated project delivery schedule and was funded partially using American Recovery and Reinvestment Act funds. The Washington Department of Transportation Operation I-5 Partnership to Relieve Congestion Project winner in the Innovative Management Small Project category. A 50-year-old stretch of I-5 had been showing its age and nearing capacity for the past decade. Previous fixes had given way and the system that moved 68,000 vehicles a day on the busiest highway in the state broke down, tripling drive times. Working together, officials agreed on a solution to alleviate congestion by improving interchanges and access to military installations along the route and coordinating traffic signals. This coordinated and cohesive effort is an excellent example of how agencies at all levels can work together and make a difference for the taxpayers and citizens we serve. Colonel Thomas H. Bertain, Joint Base Garrison. The Utah Department of Transportation, SR-171, 3500 South Reconstruction Project, winner in the Innovative Management Medium Project category. This project was a first of its kind in the Salt Lake Valley, widening the corridor by adding an additional lane in each direction, along with a dedicated lane for the first bus rapid transit BRT line in the state. The 3500 South project was the first of its kind in the nation to use movable barrier on an urban arterial reconstruction project. It began in the fall of 2008 and it ended under budget with an early completion date in July 2010. These are America's top 10 in transportation. A panel of judges will decide the grand prize winner and the People's Choice Award will go to the project receiving the highest number of online votes. Cast your vote today at www America's Transportation Award.org. America is one nation moving forward on transportation. These awards recognize the innovation, dedication, and determination of the men and women who build and maintain the transportation systems we depend on every day.